Have you ever thought about using freelance platforms such as Upwork to make money online? While there are surely countless job opportunities, the high competition can make it hard to make a full-time income. In this video, we have collected some of the most important tips on how you can be successful on Upwork and make money from home even as a total beginner. But before we start, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to see more videos on remote income opportunities in the future. All right, let's jump right in with tip number one, and that is focus on one skill only. It is so much easier to find high paying jobs when you are an expert in something and have reviews to prove that. Don't offer different job categories like graphic design, social media, or translation at the same time. Even if you have many skills and services you can offer to potential clients, start with only one skill. That also allows you to charge higher rates later on because you can be known as the expert in your field. Even if your skills are fairly broad, like content writing, you should focus on one specific topic. For instance, blog post writing. If you want to add other services too, like copywriting or technical writing, make sure to create an additional profile for that. That helps you to stay organized, set different rates for each service, and allows potential clients to see your previous work experiences and reviews at a glance. Number two, create a professional profile. Your profile has to be on point. Make sure you use a common but also specific job title that can easily be found when a client is searching for freelancers. Instead of simply calling yourself a translator, you could go for certified English Spanish translator and interpreter. That sounds much more sophisticated and professional. The description is where most people fail. Your profile text shouldn't only be about you and your skills and experiences. It also needs to be about how you can help potential clients solving their problems. How can they benefit from your expertise? You can also upload a video where you can talk about your skills or show your work samples. This can make the difference between you and your competition. Also, make sure to show your employment history outside of Upwork, your education and certifications. But do yourself a favor and don't lie when it comes to your experience and skills. It can cause you lots of trouble when the truth comes out. Number three, start small. We all want to get big jobs and can't afford to work for peanuts. However, on freelance platforms like Upwork, you must get good reviews first. Nobody is going to assign you a huge job if you can't prove you're legit. Before you can scale your business, you need to start small. Go for short and low paying jobs where you are sure you can do a great job and get a good review. If you are completely new and don't have a single review to show, there is hardly a chance you can charge high-end rates. You need to prove yourself first. This might be frustrating in the beginning, but it will definitely help you a lot in the long run. Number four, create individual proposals. This is the most important thing you have to do. Write individual proposals. Yes, you will send out a whole lot of applications, but never use copy slash paste standard text. Clients will most likely delete those proposals straight away. If you don't take the time to sit down and write a personalized message, then you can't be interested enough in the job. Instead, do this. If the client gives his name in the job offer, use it. Dear Tim or Hello Anna sounds so much better than a simple Hi there. Start by repeating what kind of job the client needs to get done. That shows that you have read and understood the task. Too many people simply apply to anything without even knowing what the job is about. Don't be like that. Next, go straight into how you can help complete the task. What former experience do you have that matches the job? What skills can you use to make the result great? Make sure that the proposal is about how you can help the client, not about your skills and experience in general. It should revolve around the job, not around you. If you have, you can attach files or links that show your portfolio. If you attach examples, make sure they are similar to what the client is asking for not something random. If you have done similar jobs like this one on Upwork before, ask the client to check out your profile to see the good review you got for that job. If you have any questions about the task, ask. That shows that you are truly interested and have spent time thinking about the job. Depending on the job, you could also mention how you would approach the task. Although this sounds like a lot to include, keep it short. No client wants to spend 20 minutes reading through your proposal. Your goal of this proposal is to get the client to contact you. That's the biggest step. Things like payment and deadlines can be discussed later when the client is convinced that you are worth a good fit. 
Number 5. Be quick. There are thousands of freelancers on Upwork who only wait for a new job offering to pop up so that they can apply immediately. That means you should be quick when it comes to sending out proposals. Since you only have a limited number of proposals you can send out per month, you shouldn't waste your time with jobs that have been posted weeks ago. It's always a great idea to check out how many proposals a job has, how many people are being interviewed, and how many are hired. But don't be discouraged if you see that someone else is already hired. You never know. Maybe the client is not happy with the performance of the person who was hired. Maybe your proposal is that great that the client might consider you for another job. If you think this could work for you, you should apply for it anyway. Number 6. Follow up. If you've seen your proposal, have contact with a client, but suddenly don't hear back anymore, you could write a follow-up. Ask if there is anything unclear or if you could help with anything else. If you don't come across too pushy, it will show that you are truly interested in the job. You could also send follow-ups to clients that you have already worked with. Maybe they have a new job that needs to be done, but don't send out more than one follow-up. Again, keep it friendly and professional. Number 7. Go above and beyond. Once you have scored a job, it's time to give 100% to deliver a fantastic result. A happy client could give you more work in the future, and just as important, leave a great review. And that's what you need. If you get bad reviews only, you should consider closing that account and starting all over. No client wants to work with someone who has a bad reputation. However, there are definitely some clients out there that will never be happy. No matter what you do, they will always find something they don't like. Try to spot those moaners before you accept the gig. If you have a bad gut feeling, decline the offer. It's not worth risking your reviews. Number 8. Communicate. Talk about everything. Make sure you got the task entirely. Repeat what you understood you need to do and get confirmation. If anything is unclear, either at the beginning or during your job, ask. No client will be mad at you for asking important questions during the process, but they will be annoyed when you are finished and it's not what they have expected. If something is too complicated to explain via text, call them. Upwork lets you make voice calls and video calls too. Sometimes, all it takes is a 5-minute phone call and it will save you hours of unnecessary work. If you follow these simple but important steps, you are on a good way to become very successful on Upwork. It will probably not happen overnight, but if you are patient and consistently apply and deliver great work, you will soon be able to make a full-time income as a freelancer. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. That helps us make more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.